Hello, my name is Tunne Kellam from Estonia and the EPP group and I am happy to be one of those 270 members of the European Parliament who have supported a joint declaration about EU and Iran's relationship. And this statement is representing all political factions absolutely all political factions of the European Parliament. You can take it as a very strong and clear uh, message to our foreign policy leadership and our respective governments. And that is, we can not proceed with our relationships with Iran, be it economical or political or social, unless there is clear improvement of human rights situation in Iran. I think this is absolutely according to the EU value-based foreign policy. Because, in fact, the human rights situation, the number of executions, especially of minors, have increased since last year's nuclear deal. And it is very obvious that if there is no significant will by Iranian leaders to respect basic human rights, there can be no trust by the Western powers, by world democracies, to believe that Iranian leadership is going to change or they could be trusted either. I think uh, the trend is showing in the opposite direction because uh, so-called moderates who were elected to the Iranian parliament have demonstrated no influence at all. And they have been forced to compromise with so-called conservatives. Essentially, there has been no change of politics or change of mood. And uh, in addition, Iran's leadership is conducting actively export of terrorism, supporting dictator Assad in Syria and has been actually the root of extremism in the Middle East, one of the causes of the present crisis. It can't be expected that Iranian leadership and allying or cooperating with it could be a remedy. Therefore, I think that our leaders should take very serious consideration of the statement by 270 members of parliament and there are many more who would be willing to co-sign yet and uh, I look forward to the 9th of July when there will be yearly huge meeting of supporters of free democratic Iran in Paris under the leadership of the president of the Council of National Resistance Madame Rajavi.